today I will be teaching you everything I know about Magic's Music Maker. So to start, we're going to do pitch shift. Drag the clip you want to be pitch shifted into the timeline and then drag it to the point you want. Then double click on it and this will open. You want to click the left play button to play the clip over and over, and you go to the pitch knob. Adjust it to your liking, as I will do right now, and then click apply. Then, as you can see by that loading bar, it'll apply the effects. Then just click OK to uh, close it. Then, as you see, it's played as the pitch shifted. Okay. Now here's the controls. That one is the selection control. It can select things and look at these other controls. The cut one, the one with the scissors cuts clips. That one can stretch it like Sony Vegas as a control drag. And look at the other ones. Okay, you're going to want to change one fourth a note to frames. And then you're going to want to zoom into one frame or use the easy key control one to zoom into that. And as you can see, there are 30 frames here. And 30 frames in this second. So <clears throat> that's how you adjust the frames. Adding titles. You want to go to templates and then to titles, and you can select which title you want. I'm just going to show you all the examples of the titles. Okay, to start off, I would recommend doing standard. So just drag that to the timeline, and it'll open up the title editor. You can change the text in the title editor do anything you want and then you can change these things. The 3D is kind of a shadow except you can change how long it is. See now you can see a pink in the back of it and that's the 3D. Now as you bump it up it'll get longer as you can see there. <coughs> and then we've got all these other things that you can use. special ones then you've got the rotation ones. these will do a perfect rotation around that will rotate out and that will rotate in Now you can do shadows. A 
shadow is kind of like 3D, except it goes in backwards. So I'm just going to go back to the standard text and check these boxes and then choose how long I want the shadow to be and then choose its color. And then I'm going to change the border. I usually keep the border at 2 and 1 and I'm going to make it pink. And then I'm going to have the 3D be purple and have it be fine. And that's what the text will look like. Now do not press cancel. If you press cancel, it will discard everything. Press OK to apply. Adding the visuals. These things are more things that apply to the sound of all videos. So you can use them in a sparkly mix or whatever you want. So I'm just going to drag in one and then get the templates and select the pure analyzer, which was one of my favorites. And that will be the result. And we'll go along to the audio of whatever you want it to go along to. But it will end at the point where the thing stops. Sorry, I just opened up some video. That look like it looked like that when it's uh, can extend it and I think the colors change on the video effects. Here are some video effects and they have a sample video there for it. So let's check out all these visual effects. Blue screen and alpha. And then they've got more video effects. That one that one's no effect. That one's out of focus. Reduce saturation. Mirror. And I'm just gonna stop telling you what these are. You'll just watch. Okay, making a Sparta is one of the most important things to do here, like the 1994 does. So, drop in the Sparta background music, and then import your source. Now, I just click Control 1 to zoom into those frames. And I also use the cut tool to cut things. So I'm gonna get the cut tool and then cut them. Then I'm gonna drag them. And if you haven't noticed, the mouse doesn't match up with moving them. Yeah, that was an error in Game T shows. Please ignore it. Then you paste your meat sauce there and I would put it on one of the flames. 
and then make sure it's three frames long and cut it. And you're gonna wanna adjust it to the sporting music. Just click OK. It says this thing it says hit the marker, it'll paste over objects. Yeah, ignore that. Just gonna move that over. And then go four frames over and paste another two. And I'm just gonna make the rest of this spot. Okay, let's see what we have so far. Okay. Yep, and I've got the first tap done. Now for source number two in the Sparta. The Ah in Patrick. So I'm just moving those three frames and then drag that back so it gets the that frame. And then I would just paste the frame. Sorry for the phone. And then just paste one more over there. Again, I'm gonna say the mouse doesn't match up because right now it's over the video monitor. Can't change your head now. Okay then, I'm just gonna play that one more time to see how it sounds. Okay, that sounds pretty good. So, to do it, to copy it, I'm just gonna drag around it, and then click Control C, and then paste them again. Do it for the rest of the Sparta.